Well, good morning, everybody. It's Friday, and guess where I am? That's right, back out on the kayak. So let me tell y'all a little story about how this trip happened, right? So as y'all know, I've been fishing my ass off all week, all week. So last night, I was having dinner with my parents. They came over to eat. We were supposed to go catch rainbow trout, but uh, it's too cold for my dad, you know, that kind of stuff. So we ended up not going. Anyway, they left. My wife says, how come you left the kayak on the car? And I said, oh, you know, I didn't feel like messing with it, right? She says, you need to take a break. You've been fishing so much. You walking around here stiff as a board. You know, you're going to work this weekend. That's the last thing you need is to go to work this weekend all messed up. And I said, I tell myself, you know, Sal, you going to let this woman tell you what to do, man? So I said, you know what? You're right. I'm just going to stay at home tomorrow. So I did what any self-respecting coon ass that likes fishing almost as he loves his wife would do. I waited for her to go to work, and then I got in the car and left. <laughs> so that's why I'm here. So we're going to go try to find some fish. Man, the wind keeps changing direction on me out of here. Some bitch. Oh, there ain't no wasp nest there. And this is some 10 pound braid. It ain't going nowhere. Squirrel fishing. That's me, that black water fly fishing says. Huh. You can scare me a bunch of turtles. Right there. Watch this. I know you see me, man. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, he's brave, shit. Ah, there he went in the water. Oh, there's my lure. Oh, shit. I don't know if I'm getting this one out of here. He's like wrapped around the backside of the trees. And... Oh shit. Oh shit. Um, um, I'm gonna have to pause the camera for this one, man. This is a mess. Now I find this hard to believe, but my sonar is saying there's a shit ton of fish right here. Don't look like they're moving. I don't know what this shit is, but there's a whole bunch of them. According to my sonar, anyway. I wish this wind would make up its mind. Just a minute ago it was pushing me that way, and now it's pushing me this way. Uh, like I said, I don't necessarily believe this, man. It, uh, be no reason for these fish to be here. Come on, dude. I need the wind to stop swapping around on me. It says they're there. I don't know 
what's going on. Let me swing back by it one more time. And I'll anchor up the kayak against those two pieces of log there and see what happens. see chip way down on the bottom but it looks like just a bunch of nothing oh well I'm gonna move on man I'm not gonna spend all day in this one spot looking for a pile of fish that ain't gonna bite I tell you what though man I'd rather be out here doing this catching absolutely nothing than sitting at work <laughs> I guarantee you that So I guess there's always that, you know, no matter how bad the fishing is, it's still pretty good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's, uh, that's Einstein's theory of relativity applied to the fishing. <laughs> Still pretty good when it's compared to work. Yeah. It's twelve thirty. I have to be going. Oh, what a throw. Just letting the wind push me back towards the dock. Absolutely zero bites, no matter what I threw today. It kind of leads me to believe, now I may be mistaken or not, right? But it leads me to believe that it ain't my fault. Because <laughs> you know? I can bluegill, man, all right? I can brim fish with the best of them. And to not get a single bite on anything... I think this back and forth weather pattern really has things messed up, plus this high water. I think that's that's a lot of it, honestly. It's the super high water. Anyway. All right, so the last spot I'm gonna hit is right here. It's usually one of my favorite bluegill spots in the late spring or summer. I usually come in here and tear them up in the big ones at that. There's 
so yeah, it's, I haven't had a bite. Period. So I don't know what's going on. I I mean I know what's going on. It's it's that stupid cold front came in and jack stuff up. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing more than I am as far as catching fish. Cause, well, I mean, it wouldn't be hard. You'd have to catch one. Um, you know, I hope the weather hasn't torn it up as much for you guys as it has for us. The fact that I haven't seen any other people fishing says a whole bunch. So, anyway... I think that's going to about do it for me. It's 12.55. I think I'm pushing my luck with my sneaky kayaking trip. And I think it's time for me to time for me to head on back. So, hope you guys have a good weekend and you guys stay safe. Thank you guys for watching the videos, especially lately when I keep getting skunked. But, like I said, I mean, I'm still out in a kayak. Um, I don't see anybody else fishing. So, at least I'm out trying, you know. <laughs> maybe maybe they're the smarter one. But, can't catch fish if you don't put lines in the water. And I'm out here every day putting a line in the water. So, I promised you guys early on in the channel that I would post everything. Um, whether I caught fish or not. To show you guys that, you know, I'm not one of those channels that will fake stuff. Or just not post things in order to... Uh, keep viewers who are only here to see one fish caught after another you know I have I feel I have more to offer than simple oh look at me catching a fish you know um, the reality of fishing is just you're not going to catch all the time but that's that's half of why you go fishing the other half is because you like fishing you know, and that's definitely the case with me. I prefer to catch fish, of course I do, but it's not everything. Like I said today, my wife was telling me last night I needed to stay home because I was wearing myself out. So I was like, you know what make me relax? Go fishing. <laughs> kayak out today when she left the house to go to work so yeah been having a good time I have to admit it's a little disheartening not to catch anything but the fact that I came here and struck out makes me believe that you know okay it's not anything I'm not doing or anything like that because I, I come here and tear them up <laughs> like constantly so anyhow thank you guys again for watching the channel and I will see you guys next week. Hopefully we'll have some better stuff coming. Tight lines, my friends, because mine are certainly slack. <laughs>